Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Eclipse ROM by developer Nitroglycerin. Uh, many of you guys that have had a Droid X uh, or any other Motorola phone, and some of you that have had the Galaxy Nexus have had the priv privilege of running the Eclipse ROM. Of course, on the Galaxy Nexus, it's Ice Cream Sandwich. On the Bionic, this is a gingerbread build. Uh, so if we go to Settings and About Phone, you'll see that it's built on Android version 2.3.4. Now that being said, it's also on the system version 5.9.905, so you're going to get all the radio updates, all the baseband updates, um, all that good stuff to help with signal and reception, so that is a plus. The reason why it's built on Gingerbread is because there's still a lot of bugginess. Uh, it's an ice cream sandwich on the Droid Bionic, being that we don't have the proper keys for the bootloader. We're not able to change certain things like hardware acceleration and things of this nature to get the camera functioning properly and to get all the flash videos functioning properly in this build there are basically no bugs so the camera's working properly if I go ahead and bring up the camera application we can show you that the camera is working and it seems to be working even faster than stock I mean the shutter lag there is next to nothing. Uh, if we go to the front facing camera and see how quickly it's taking pictures. I mean so much, I don't even know what Nitro has done, uh, but I see an incredible performance from the stock camera. If we turn on the uh, video camcorder, it's taking a video and everything's working perfectly. And the shutter is just amazing on this, which is pretty awesome. So uh, props to Nitro. Whatever you did to make the camera work that much better, a thumbs up to you on that. Let's see. Uh, other things that work are YouTube and high-quality videos. So if we go to open up a YouTube, this is because it's on Gingerbread. So see, it opens up automatically in high-quality and it plays. So uh, these are the things, uh, the reasons why. He decided to stay with Gingerbread because there's little to no bugs with the Gingerbread build. So, we can go ahead and look at what makes this ROM unique. Uh, first of all, it is incredibly fast. Uh, if you're looking for Ice Cream Sandwich, this has the Ice Cream Sandwich theme. So, it looks and feels like Ice Cream Sandwich just without all the bugginess of a ROM that's built on Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, one thing right off the bat that you'll notice is that it comes with this Welcome to Eclipse, which has some pretty neat things here. Having issues, uh, did you forget to wipe cash, phone isn't waterproof, don't drop it in the toilet, haha, -ha. iPhone, um, yeah, I will pass. See, I got a laugh out of some of these things. Multiple home screens, swipe left to right to switch, drag items to other screens, and done with this widget, drag it to the trash, and that's what we'll do. So it comes with the Eclipse launcher, which is very nice and fast as you can see and if we pull up the app drawer and we go into settings there are some custom settings in here um, we'll go all the way to the top to the eclipse settings lock screen settings there are several lock screen styles to choose from so we'll go to style options and lock screen style uh, you can go moto lock rotary AOSP which is what I currently have for tab and you can actually um, change the different apps on those honeycomb rotary revamped lens and ring and I just prefer the AOSP it's nice and simple widget options um, this is always display battery stats so you can do that right there on the lock screen you can make a lock screen message so you can put like instead of having Verizon you can put your own message there on the lock screen lock screen music control so when you're playing your music if you have this checked you will have music controls from the lock screen Application settings, there's all sorts of different application settings uh, to choose from here. Animations and haptic feedback, that's the fly-in and fly-out animations. You have terminal and DSP manager for your sound. Um, you can control all the different sound functions through your DSP manager. And performance manager. So it looks like it's just a task manager. Normally with a performance manager, you have like... Uh, kernel settings but uh, with this phone of course we don't have a unlocked bootloader so we don't have those sorts of options uh, if you pull down the notification 
bar you're going to see that you do have some toggles that are quickly accessible from the notification drop down menu and um, let's see here if you press on the power button you get the full reboot menu which is really cool you can reboot directly into recovery from there you can take a screenshot just like an ice cream sandwich and uh, another cool thing is this does include the ice cream sandwich boot animation so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll load up the bionic bootstrap I still go ahead and boot into recovery from the bionic bootstrap I'm pretty sure that if you try to boot into it from the reboot menu, if you don't have Bionic Bootstrap installed, it's not going to boot into um, Clockwork Recovery anyways because Clockwork Recovery comes with the bootstrap. So we're done. You will install this via bootstrap. You can install it directly over 5.9.905. It's not going to work with any of the previous versions because it is built on 9. Uh, 05, so you need to make sure that you go ahead and upgrade to 905 before you flash this. I have a video tutorial on how to get to 905, so you'll probably want to go ahead and check that video out and follow that. Once you're on 905, you can root it via Motofill. Once you're rooted, install Bionic Bootstrap. You can go to droidmoderx.com slash bionic, and you can find Bootstrap there. Uh, once you have Bootstrap installed, go to the links in the description. I will have a link to this ROM. Download the ROM to your phone. Once it's on your phone, if you go into File Manager, it should be in your download folder. You want to take and move it from your download folder uh, to your your external SD card. Uh, so just be sure that you do put it on your external SD card so that the bootstrapper will be able to find it. Uh, I mean so that you can find it in Clockwork Mod Recovery. So we got a bootstrap and allow root permissions and select OK and then reboot recovery. Installation is very simple. If you've installed a ROM on the Droid Bionic then you pretty much probably already know how to install this one. The main thing is that you want to make sure that you're already on 905. If you're not on 905 it's not going to install properly. And as always you're going to want to wipe data, factory reset, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik, all the things that you guys have become accustomed to. Oh, also, while I have a second here, if you have a Bionic, if you like these Bionic ROM reviews, be sure to click the like button uh, so that I can kind of get a tally, a head count of who all is watching this video, uh, who enjoys this video. So anyhow, we'll go to wipe data, factory reset, and select that with the power button. We'll go down to yes, delete all user data. I'm going to go back. And then we'll go to wipe cache, select that. You'll scroll, scroll to wipe cache. I'm going to go back. Then you go down to advanced. Select that. And wipe Dalvik cache. Select that. Then you're going to go to yes. Wipe Dalvik cache. I'm going to go back. It's already have it installed, obviously. And we'll go back one more time. And then you'll go to install zip from SD card and choose it from SD card. It's going to go to your external SD card, so make sure that the ROM is there. Then you're going to find Bionic Eclipse 3.0.zip. Select that. Then you go to Yes Install. Once you select that, it should take about five minutes to install. When it's all installed, you're going to go back and reboot the system. And I'll leave you guys with the Eclipse boot animation this is just the regular nexus ice cream sandwich animation uh, guys thanks for watching you check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in android and tech news also be sure to follow me on twitter at droidmoderx be sure to click the subscribe button right there uh, just go ahead and click that for more videos like this i also do tech reviews i do uh, tech vlogs and of course we do rom reviews and also tech <laughs> Excuse me. We also do Android tutorials like root tutorials and all kinds of hacking and mining tutorials. So be sure to subscribe to this channel uh, to keep updated on all of my new videos. And also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.